am Jay Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. Well, we give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest of TV news, mapalokal man o international. Yes, it is. It is. Awesome. Yes, the here's a countdown. You shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. Kasi iba mga story natin today ganito eh. Kaya ako napindot yan. <laughs> But anyway, guys, syempre, ito, ang una nating story for number 10 is gonna be the one and only Adele, and she deserves... She deserves an applause. Only a Tony Award is left for Adele to achieve the EGOT status. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, Adele won an Emmy for Outstanding Variety Special. That is a pre-recorded thing for her CBS special one night only. This recognition makes Adele one step closer to the EGOT status. She only needs to win a Tony Award! Ding, ding, ding. Yes! Oh, oh. Eto, no, she did proudly post it on her Instagram and she said that uh, she did post her Emmy Award with a caption, trust me to officially have an ego. <laughs> Pertaining to an Emmy, Grammy, and Oscar award. Witty. Being an EGOT basically means that you're a goat in television, music, film, and theater. As in, wow. A really, a quadruple threat. This has been going on for quite some time. Yesterday, the hot topic of the internet. Everyone's feasting on it. Did Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine? Yeah. I couldn't see it when I saw the clip, but we're going to roll it over here in Celebrity Top 10 because so much drama happened during the promo and the press conference of Don't Worry Darling at the Venice Film Festival. From that Olivia Wilde and Shia LaBeouf issue, Florence Pugh not attending the press conference, Florence avoiding eye contact with Olivia, Harry kissing Nick Kroll on the lips, and now Harry Styles seemed to have spat on Chris Pine. <laughs> Diba? Kung gusto nyo ng, ano, di, ng intriga, behind the scenes sa behind the scenes, eto na yon OM. Hindi ko lang kung matatawa ako, masusyak, OMG. Anyway, guys, Chris Pine's representative responded to the rumors and clarified that Harry Styles did not spit on Chris Pine. Thank you for that clarification. There is so much respect between the two men and any suggestion otherwise is a blatant attempt to create drama that simply did not exist. Diba? Meron pang mga ano eh, parang wandering around eyes. Ito si Chris pa uh, Pine nung nag interview sila ng dalawa ni Harry Styles. But that that's nothing. Honestly, uh, with the experience of interviewing stars in tandem, really, when someone is talking, you would just be there on standby, uh, semi-listening or listening at that, waiting for your turn to be asked. But anyway, despite the controversies while promoting Don't Worry Darling, the film received cold reviews ding, ding, ding. from critics. Rotten Tomatoes even gave a debut rating of 39%. But Don't Worry Darling, I'm sure it's going to be a sure hit with Harry and Olivia and all the controversy surrounding it. But I hope this story will really be the king of this film. It will have a theatrical release and I'm sure to watch it thanks to this promo. Brendan Fraser, yes, he's been getting a lot of good reviews so far, but now he got emotional at the world premiere of the Whale in Venice Film Festival. What a major comeback. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. Awesome. After the screening, the movie and the whole team received a long standing ovation while Brendan was on the balcony. He was moved into tears. Ding, ding, ding. Critiques say that Brendan's performance in the film can make him a potential front runner in the Oscars. He plays an English teacher who weighs 600 pounds. The film is directed by Darren Aronofsky, and it has been, uh, well, a favorite among the circuit of critiques talking about the film. Let's talk about some upcoming film that we can watch here in the country. It's Armageddon Time, who dropped its trailer. It stars Anne Hathaway, Jeremy Strong, ooh, and Anthony Hopkins, directed by James Gray. Actually, they are in a film festival right now. We saw Jeremy Strong and Anne. And Armageddon Time is a semi-autobiographical film inspired by James Gray's upbringing in Queens and experiences as a student in New York. The film 
well premiered at the Cannes Film Festival, where it received a seven minute standing ovation. Now, Armageddon Time will premiere October in theaters. A hot topic Meghan Markle returns to the UK. And she said she's glad to be back. After all the hullabaloo, yes, the Duchess of Sussex made her first speech in the United Kingdom since her husband and her fa- and their family left their royal duties. She delivered a speech during one Young World Summit wherein she spoke about her self-doubt. Prince Harry and Meghan quit their royal duties and moved back to the United States two years ago. They went back to the United Kingdom for the first time a few months ago to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Anyway, guys, before we move on, we just want to say hi to the all anatics, the OMJ supporters. Gucci, Gucci, Thank you for being with us. An applause to you guys. Record to 511 News 1 PH Radio C 92.3 News FM. Also, uh, we are on one news.ph halfway on the show. The script releases a new single, Dare You to Doubt Me. Isa na namang hugot song ito, actually. Pinaanod pang malamig na cool, cool na Bermonts, di ba? Perfect to. So, it's been a memorable summer for the script as they've been busy taking their greatest hits to around the UK and Ireland. The highlights include huge shows at London's O2 Edinburgh Castle and Dublin's Three Arena. In Dublin, they premiered the song Dare You to Doubt Me, which received a rupturous reception. Now, finally, the script will release it everywhere. The power of positivity that surges through the script's lyrics is a huge part of their appeal. And every year, dito sila sa bansa. O, di ba natigil lang nung pandemia? But now, they will be back again in Manila for their concert at the MOA Arena. <laughs> This is a hot topic here in local showbiz as we talk about Marcus Patterson denying hitting any woman. As she should. She shouldn't do that. He should. He shouldn't do that. Marcus Patterson made it clear that he will never and won't ever hit any woman. That's after the actor became the subject of rumors online. After he kind of advised in a vlog uploaded by Rice Artist Studio to never date someone in the industry. The statement went viral and became the talk of the town. Fans of Janela couldn't stop but connect it to Janela, who is the mother of his child. Janela sort of followed through by remarking or confirming that she is a single mom to baby Jude, her child with Marcus Patterson. <laughs> All right, so Joshua Garcia shared a feature compilation of photos of Bella Raceles. <laughs> OMG. Bella, if you don't know her, she is a vlogger. So the actor posted it on, on his photography account on IG. The move sparked killing from fans saying that Joshua is finally opening up about the real status. But the actor and the YouTuber are yet to give their own comments. But are you in favor? Well, we just want to see Joshua happy. And yun nga, mo kami na una na sa pila. <laughs> Pasquale officially introduced in Monarch. We've been seeing it in the social media accounts of Cornerstone over the weekend, but now, yes, it is a final. Yep. Inigo Pascual is indeed back in the Philippines after filming the series, and Inigo plays Ace Grayson in the musical drama with some other big names like Trey Sadkins, Anna Fryo, and Susan Sarandon. So the Instagram post of the series Inigo is officially introduced. Let's watch it. Here's an invite. Ayan guys, dumating na nga ang panahon. Finally, mapapalabas ng Monarch on Fox. Ito yung rason kung bakit nawala ako ng matagal dito sa Pilipinas. I've been filming in Atlanta and now the day has finally come na mapapalabas at mapapanood mo na po siya. It's gonna be on Fox. It's gonna be on September 11 after the NFL on Fox. Abangan nyo sa mga uh, Instagram or sa mga social media accounts namin kung paano mapapanood dito sa Philippines. For more details, follow nyo lang ako or yung Monarch on Fox. Good. Congratulations. Another competent star reaching greater heights. It's Billy Crawford preparing for Dance Vic Lestar. 
Yes, I hope I said that and I didn't murder it. Awesome. Oh my Gucci, gosh. Gucci, Billy Crawford is ready for Dance avec les stars or the French version of Dancing with the Stars. The actor host dancer is now in Paris and ready to hit the dance floor as one of the celebrity contestants for the talent show. Joining Billy, of course, is Colleen Amari, who will support his performances. The talent competition will start in a few days and they've been preparing for this even before of course the pandemic yep the talent competition will start in a few days guys let us support billy and dance avec les stars all right before we end we do have a general reminder for everybody please stay safe from covid wear a mask disinfect and practice social distancing that's it for today i'll see you guys tomorrow mga kapatid makalis sa my countdown mondays to fridays quarter two Five on One News One PH Radio Cinco Nine Two Point Three News FM. I'm MJ Marpori. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Celebrity Top Ten. <laughs>